Section 3-2, Section 3-2, Transforming Equations. Objective. To solve equations using multiplication or division. All right, cool. What do I mean? Well, we're going to solve equations. We're going to transform equations, solve them by using multiplication and division. So let's talk about some properties of equality here. We've got the multiplication property of equality. If A equals B, if A, B, and C are any real numbers, and A is equal to B, then we can say that C times A equals C times B. For instance, we know that 4 is equal to 4. And let's say that, um, we'll say that um, our C will be 3. So isn't 3 times 4 equal to 3 times 4? Yes, 12, 12. Same thing as if I say over here, like um, A times C equals B times C. Well, let's say that A was um, X and B was 4. I'm going to multiply both sides by the same number, C. Okay, let's multiply this side by, let's say, let, on this example, let C equal 5. Well, we'll multiply this side by 5. 5X should equal to, be equal to 4 times 5. So 5X should equal 20. Well, let's see. Is x still 4? Is this still equal? Let's see, because we said x was 4. Yeah, 5x it still works. Basically, if equal numbers are multiplied by the same number, the products are equal. Woo! Here's some examples of the multiplication property of equality. Right? Here's some examples. We have this example over here. I can multiply. Because I know, we'll say, this is our a equals b. This number is a. This number is, whoops, b. Because they're equal, I can multiply them both by a C. The C, I'm going to multiply them both by. Here, I'll let C be um, 3 halves. So I'm going to multiply this side by 3 halves and this side by 3 halves. I'm going to put this guy over 1. 6 ones, right? And I'd go across. Let's see. I get 6 over 6. Or those of you who like to simplify, oh, 3 goes into 3, 1, 1, 1, 1. Either way, we're going to end up with 6 sixths, which ends up being 1x, right? And over here, 6 times 3 is... 18 over 2, and those of you who like to simplify, right, you know that 2 goes into 6. Well, I can write 6 as 2 times 3, right? Right, so that those 2's cancel out, and then it would 9 over 1. So x here is equal to 9. So x was equal to 9 here, it's still equal to 9. I, this number, I, I didn't change, this was equal in the beginning, I just multiplied both sides by the same thing, I multiplied equal things by the same number, so this is still equivalent equation. Now I'm going to do the same thing on this side, I'm going to multiply both sides here by a c, I'll call this, this guy will be my a, this will be my b, because they're equal, I can multiply them both by the same number and not change this equality. The number I'm going to multiply them both by will be 2. 2 times 24 is 48. Here I have, ooh, look at that, 2's x, right? 48 equals x. Was this x still equal to 48? Yeah, 48 divided by 2 is 24, all right? Let's talk about the division property of equality. Well, here we go. If a, b, and c are any real numbers, then, and a equals b, then you take those two equal numbers, a and b, you can divide them both by the same thing, and it'll still be equal. Think about it. You know 12 is equal to 12, right? Both equal. You can divide them both by 4, and I still have, this is still equal. It's still equivalent. For instance, suppose I told you that x was equal, x was equal to 10, and I want to divide, these are equal. a is equal to b. These are both equal. I can divide both sides by the same number, let's say 2, and I'll have an equivalence. Yes, it's still, x is still equal to 10. Half of 10 is 5. We're still, we did the same operation. If equal numbers are divided by the same non-zero number, the quotients are equal. <gasps> Non-zero. Why would I write that? Hmm. Very, very important. Very important. Very important. Very important. Never divide by zero or I'll explode. Don't divide by zero. Never, never, ever, ever, ever. Why don't we ever divide by zero? Here's why. You can't divide by zero. We know that 35 divided by 7 can be written like this, 35 over 7. It's saying, how many times can I add 7 to get 35? 7, 14, 21, 20, what's the 8, 35. Well, I can do that or what time 7 is 35? We know what it is. We know it's 5. We know if I add 7 to itself 5 times, I get it. or 7 times 5 is 35. Well, look at this one. 
This is saying, how many times must I add zero to itself to get four? Let's try it. Zero plus zero plus zero plus zero plus zero plus zero. Plus, you're never going to get there. There's no number that you can multiply by zero to get four. So when you see this, that's not a number. Not a number. Not a number. So don't do it. Can't do it. Thou shalt not divide by zero. Ever. Here's some examples of the division property. Looking at this guy, I'm going to divide both sides. A is equal to B. Here's my A. Here's my B. I can divide them both by a C, so that's what I'm going to do. And what do I end up with? 63 divided by 9 is 7. Well, ooh, 9x over 9. This is the same thing as 9 over 9 times x. I know 9 over 9 is 1, so 1x, x equals 7. And here, same thing, division property of equality. I can divide both sides by the same number. Here, just like um, the coefficient of x, that's the number in front of the variable, the coefficient of x is here and divided by, because this is x times 9, to undo that times I divided, and that, those 9's disappeared, right? So I'm going to undo this. I'm going to divide both sides by 4 fifths. Divide by 4 fifths, right? And look at 4 fifths over 4 fifths is 1, right? Anything over itself. Get my x. 20 divided by 4 fifths. Same thing as 20 times 5 over 4. Flipping fun, right? Flip and then have some fun. Know what I'm saying? This goes into it 5 times, right? Because 20 can be written as what? 5 times 4, and the 4 is canceled out. 4 is canceled out, and then I have 5 times 5. 25 left. All right? Cool. Don't forget, though, that the division property comes directly from the multiplication, right? This is the same thing as saying if A equals B, then, you know, the, uh, a, we could say A times 1 over C equals B times 1 over C. Same thing. I mean, we're multiplying by the same thing. Dividing by C is the same thing as multiplying by 1 over C. Division is flipping fun. So let's do a little building here. Let's make a problem. Ready? Here we go. I'm going to multiply both sides by... One half, ready? Hmm. One half. Oh, sorry. One half. Ready? Watch. I'm going to make this nice. Ready? Okay. So I get one half x equals four times one half is two. Right? Let's see. We said x was four at the beginning. Is x still four? Half of four is two. Yes. Didn't change. I just made this equation here. Here's number six on your homework. Find out what x is. Solve for x. How would I solve it? I can divide both sides by one half. Divide by one half, and what happens? Watch, one half divided by one half, you know that's one. Two divided by one half is the same thing times two. Sorry, two divided by one half is the same thing as two times two of one. Four, same thing. Let's build one more. Multiply both sides by four. Now, let's find out. Multiply both, 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 both sides by four. That wouldn't be that fun. What else could we multiply both sides by? Let's multiply them by mm, eight. No, one half. No, yeah, we'll do it by four with that. Times 4, times 4. What do I get? 4x equals 4 times 2, 8 over 3. And I can change that to 2 and 2 thirds. So here's my problem. 4 times 1 equals 2 and 2 thirds. Hmm. I'm dying to know. 4 times 1. Well, if I wanted to find out what this was, I could always change this back to th uh, 8 thirds and divide both sides by 4. Oh, I was supposed to start off by dividing. I'm doing multiple. Whatever. Um, divide by 4, and these cancel out. 8 thirds times. Divided by 4, same time. 1 fourth. Now I get 2. 2 thirds again. Anyway. So what I'm doing, I'm showing you, you know, the way, we're going to be undoing these things. Um, but they come, I mean, you can think about them as building, starting from something. Something was done to both sides, so you get this. You know, we're doing the undoing. So this started out with some equality, some x equals something, and you know, and then the, the, you know, we did some algebra to split it up and make it, you know, the, the problem maker, the person who made this exercise, just started out with x equals five, and then did a bunch of stuff to both sides, the same thing to both sides to build this problem. So you just have to go through and undo it all. So let's some, combine some like terms, six x and three x. I noticed some com like terms here, nine x, negative four and positive nine is positive five. 10x minus 16. Now I can add things from both sides, subtract here. I'm going to subtract 9x from both sides, just for the just for the for hoots and giggles here, right? Just for the love of algebra. Then I'm going to add 16 to both sides. Get 21 equal to x. I solve for x, okay? Now this has x on both sides. We're not going to be doing these problems in this section, but that was just kind of like a little preview. All right, I hope you had a great day. See you later. See you later.